Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, I finally got my grail. As a kid, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man was the only toy from the real Ghostbusters toy line that I was never able to attain. So, John messaged me the other day, yesterday, while I was at work, told me that the North Walmart had some Stay Puft Marshmallow Mans and Slimers. Uh, while the wife and I were out today, we swung by there. They had one left on the shelf. So I swiped it up. I grabbed it. And obviously I paid for it. I'm not going to steal it. Um, but this has always been my grail. Uh, as I said, as I've said before, uh, as a kid, this was the only figure from the real Ghostbusters toy line I was not able to get my hands on. Uh, my best friend in grade school, uh, he and his brother both had one each. So the only time I ever got my hands on it was when I was staying the night at his house. And we would play Ghostbusters. He had the proton packs, he had the traps, all that. So <clears throat> this has been... A long awaited moment for me. The real Ghostbusters Kenner reissue Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. As you can see there at the, on the box, there's a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man attacking uh, Peter and Egon on top of a hotel, it looks like. And says there on the side Stay Puff Marshmallow Man figure. Who are you going to call the real Ghostbusters ages four and up? The Kenner logo at the bottom. Turn it around and it's exactly the same as the other figures from the toy line. So now let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. So here we have Mr. Stay Puff in all his glory. Um, as I was taking him out of the package, I noticed he's made out of the same... Uh, Soft plastic as the original. Hear that air in there. He is hollow. Uh, mainly, I guess he's hollow a little bit in the legs, but mainly in the torso. Just like the original. Uh, I'm not sure where the air hole is, though. I guess it's the neck and the, uh, the arm joints. But as you can see, he his only articulation is at the arms. They can go up and down, all the way around. Uh, they are not on a ball joint or anything like that. They are made out of a very soft plastic. I would be careful bending them too much because you are liable to crack it at the arms or at the wrist, and you don't want that. And the attention to detail on this guy, you can see his fingers are made out of little marshmallows, which is as it should be. Uh, the head does rotate all the way around. And look at how bold these colors are. The only, the only problem I have with it is right there on the hat where it says Stay Puff. They could have probably painted this, the letters white as they should be. But that's that's a nitpick, really. Um, they even did the eyebrows white, which is how it should be. Overall, the paint is very crisp, except right here at the shoulder. Um, everywhere, everywhere else, it is incredibly crisp. It's incredibly bright. Uh, I don't even think the original Mr. Stay Puffed from the real Ghostbusters toy line had this bright of paint. Um, I know my buddies, uh, Mr. Stay Puffed, uh, his got played with a lot. It was very muted. I think it had probably been left out in the sun a few times. Um, so I don't really have much to compare it to other than those memories of playing with it. While I was at my buddy's house as a kid. 
as you can see there there's the bottom trademark and copyright 2020 cp cp2 i guess all rights reserved uh, c3632a china e9785006911 very cool i can now mark this off my list finally got a stay puff marshmallow man from the real ghostbusters toy line i'm very excited very happy he can now go with my real ghostbusters figures um i don't believe i don't think i'm gonna get slimer i may or may not depending on how i feel about it uh, i'm gonna wait until hopefully they do a wave two and hopefully we'll get another ecto one and a ghostbusters firehouse uh, that would be very awesome now let's go ahead and compare him to the four ghostbusters so as you can see there here he is facing off against the four real ghostbusters Egon, Ray, Winston, and Peter. He is just a little bit bigger than the four, um, which is how it was in the original toy line. Uh, John mentioned in uh, on his Facebook page yesterday that he wished they would have done them um, bigger, about the size of the firehouse, which I can agree with. I think they probably should have. However... I think if they would have, fewer people would have been able to get a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Uh, play sets are one thing. Action figures that size are another. Maybe if they would have done him maybe twice the size he is now, uh, that would have been better. But there you have it, guys. The Real Ghostbusters reissue of the 2020 Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Mr. Stay Puffed himself. And if you recall correctly in the real Ghostbusters animated series, Mr. Stay Puffed was on the side of the Ghostbusters. Uh, he helped them out at least once, maybe twice. Uh, in fact, I think it was twice. He got brought out um, to battle Murray the Mantis. Well, he didn't get brought out to battle him. He got brought out during, for a parade, I guess, uh, if I remember correctly, to partake in a parade. And he ended up battling Murray the Mantis. He helped Slimer once while Slimer was in the Ecto Containment Unit. And I'm not sure if he came out, if he helped them any other times other than that. I want to say he might have. There might have been an episode or two where he was evil, uh, but I'm not sure. So anyway, there you have it, guys. 2020 Real Ghostbusters reissue of the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you tune in again for another episode. And we'll see you again real soon. Take care from Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also... Go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.